Next Wave DB's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Hey, this is Sean from Next Wave DV. We're here at the Matrox booth, and I have Eric here with me. I uh, wanted to go over some of the new products you have coming out uh, for streaming for in and out um, Just go ahead and give us an overview, basically, what you have coming out new. All right, no problem. So we have uh, our Matrox MXO2 product line. Uh, MXO2s have been around for probably about two years now, and it's uh, mainly targeted towards our post-production uh, workflow. So it works on a Mac or PC. And we have different flavors of the MXO2 product line, depending on what type of, um, of customer you are and for what kind of workflow you work with. So uh, it starts with our MXO2 Mini, which we have right in the corner over here. So the MXO2 Mini um, is a smaller device. It has component and HDMI I.O. Um, it connects to a PC or Mac via a PCIe card to, um, to a tower or a, an express card for a laptop. Okay. The cool thing about these products is that it can also have a Max chip built into it. The Max chip is, is designed to help accelerate the delivery aspect of the, of the workflow. So when a customer wants to put their final project up on the web, for web formats or for Blu-ray, uh, we have a physical CPU inside the box that allow you to accelerate that, that workflow, that process. Right? So it's faster than real-time um, encoding to H.264. Right? And this Max chip is available in any of our MX02 flavors. Do you have any uh, uh, like specs on that uh, as far as times um, based on types of systems? Uh, typically, let's say you have a 20-minute clip. Um, we, we, depending on the system, obviously, uh, a 20-minute clip will probably take you about an hour to encode without our hardware. Right? It's typically about four to five times real time. Uh, with our hardware, it's usually about 16 minutes, 15 to 16 minutes. Right? So it's again, it's, it's a little bit faster in real time, and that all depends on if there's some additional scaling going on and whatnot. Right? Um, but it did much quicker than uh, without without the hardware. How about like uh, adding uh, color correction or color grading or any other types of effects like that? How much of an effect does it have on render time? Well, it, it's mainly, uh, mainly towards the delivery aspect. When you're finished editing your project, when it's all said and done, um, yes, it needs, it needs to uh, put all those effects together. Uh, it will affect it at the time, but we guarantee uh, at least real time. Right, so that's the worst case scenario. But even then, customers are waiting, you know, again, five to four to five times real time to, for their exports. Uh, sometimes they're waiting overnight uh, if they have really long projects. So something like this is a real lifesaver. Uh, the whole idea is really to pump out this content as quickly as possible. Um, you know, these guys want to make money on their, on their projects. So uh, the idea is time is money. Obviously, let's try to get it out as quickly as possible so they can move on to the, uh, the next project. Um, we also have, just to highlight some of our other products as well, the MXO2 Mini, that was the one we just recently showed. Uh, we also have the MXO2 LE, uh, retails for $1,000. And what that does is it offers more I.O. So HDSDI, component, composite, uh, HDMI, and XLR connections. Uh, and as we move up in the MXO2 product line, we have the next, uh, the MXO2 product here. And this one here just has more audio I.O. to it. So more XLR connections, ASCBU, uh, and this one retails for $1,595, uh, so $1,600. Okay? And our last product is the um, MXO2 Rack, rack mountable version, a few more audio I.O.s as well, and it's a $2,000 uh, I.O. box. Okay, what is the uh, availability and price point on the Mini? The Mini is retailing for $450 as an I.O. box. If you want to add the Max Accelerator, the H.264 Accelerator, uh, it goes to $850. So it's a $400 premium for that Max chip to be built in. The $400 is basically the premium for any of the boxes to add the Max chip to it. So you know, you're know you looking at $450, $1,000, uh, $1,600, and uh, $2,000 for the I.O. boxes, and then plus $400 if you want to add the Max chip as well. The way this pr these products connect to a, um, a tower or a laptop is through uh, one of these three uh, adapters. If you're on a tower, it's a PCIe card, small little by one PCIe card. On a laptop, it's an Express 34 card. Now what we're showcasing at NEB is our new Thunderbolt adapter. So for all the Mac users out there, um, you all know that on the new MacBook Pros, there's a new Thunderbolt. And what we've done now is we are not forcing you to buy a new product. All we have is an adapter that allows you to connect our existing MXO2 boxes to Thunderbolt. 
So, you know, again, you don't have to buy a new product, you just have to buy an adapter that connects our MX02 boxes to Thunderbolt as well. So, this is one of the, the big, um, uh, big buzz, I guess, around the show, is uh, this new Thunderbolt adapter. Our uh, Compress HD card, it's an internal card, and let's say for all the existing users that already have an I.O. device, um, some kind of capture card already into the system, because there's a lot of them out there, I just want to uh, get our Max technology and our accelerator, uh, they don't need to buy our MX02 product lines per se, they can just buy our Compress HD card. Uh, that is just the acceleration for the Max technology acceleration uh, that runs for $500 US. Um, also on our MX02 product line that we're announcing at NEB, uh, we have now streaming capabilities. So let's say a customer wants to take a live HD feed, uh, get it into their computer and stream that out to the web, our MX02 products are capable of doing so. Um, they're, they're basically used as an input device to get an HD feed in and softwares like Adobe uh, Live uh, Flash Media Encoder could be used or uh, let's say Telestream Wirecast. So those are the software applications that will stream the, the, the footage to the web and our I.O. boxes will be used as a capture device to get the footage, HD footage into, um, into the computer. So that's one of the, also the, one of the new exciting features that we have at NAB. All right, well thank you very much Eric, appreciate it. Thank you. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.